Hi everybody, welcome back. My name is Claire. I've got a really exciting commission to do. Um, it's for a client's kitchen. Um, in, the, in the client's kitchen, there's white, grey and red and a little bit of green. So she's got some beautiful blinds, which she showed me, um, red flowers and some green. So I'm going to do a piece of fluid art to um, go into the kitchen to hopefully match the, 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 the um, scheme of the kitchen. So I'm going to do another Dutch pour red flower. I've done one before, but this time there's going to be a bit more negative space. And I'm going to include um, a little bit of green in the base uh, to try and just to try and bring in all the colours um, in the blinds. Um, so I'm a little bit nervous. It's a slightly larger canvas, 50 centimetres. So I'm a little bit nervous just to see how it turns out. I don't want brown. Um, I just don't want the green and the red to come into contact and mix. So um, fingers crossed. So let me show you the colours I'm using. Here are the colours I'm going to use. So I've got three Pebio Studio Acrylics colours, iridescent green yellow, silver and chrome green hue. I've got some Amsterdam white. This is the main red I'm going to use, um, Amsterdam Carmine. And then three De La Rowney colours, cadmium red hue, pearl black and pearl white. So the idea is that the base will be these colours. So the the white and a little bit of the green around the edge and then the flower will be made up of these colours so a red flowered but just with a few new, more neutral colours just threading through it the silver I'm hoping will give lots of cells as will the white and the the gold because they're iridescent but the silver in particularly seems to give some cells so all the colours are mixed with flood flow troll and I'll put the recipe in the description of this video so I'm using a 50 centimetre square canvas. Um, just I have just taught myself a really big lesson. I've just put um, the push pins in and levelled it on here. It's not level on this worktop. The worktop is level, but I've got a plastic sheet and then I use wallpaper. I use paper that I can then just throw away straight away afterwards. So And there's a few different layers. So actually the surface isn't completely flat, even though the the table is the desk is so what I just did was actually leveled it put it on the floor and then leveled it um, and I now know that the canvas is level so if the tabletop isn't level it's not going to be on here for very long because as soon as I finish pouring I put it into my drying rack which is um, a rack um, lots of shelves covered in netting so and I know that is level um, and fly proof so that just taught myself a big lesson don't necessarily um, level it on your desk especially if you've got other layers down um, so 50 centimeter level canvas so the first thing i want to do is create the board up so i'm going to do some white around the edge and then i'm going to introduce two of the two greens in it and blow it out so um, it's not going to be much green there is just going to be a hint of green um, and that just really um, mimics leaves the greenery that that um that the client has got in the blinds. So this is just the white to start with. So what I would do is blow this out and then um, add the green in. The reason I'm not putting the colour in the centre is because I want red. And if I put the red on the white, I'll get a pink flower. I don't want that, I want a red flower. So to avoid the mixing of the red and the, the, the white. I'm just leaving it out of the centre. Right, so now I'm just going to introduce a little bit of the greens. I don't want a lot, but I want it to be noticeable, if that makes sense. So I'm just drizzling it on and then I'm going to blow this out again. That is absolutely perfect. I love that. Absolutely beautiful. 
it's a white base but it's clearly got some beautiful variation in it right i'm just going to remove some of this white this sorry this green here because that's unnecessary and it's just going to be um swallowed up uh, covered in the with the flower anyway um and i just worry that that bit will turn to brown so let's just get rid of that Right, so this is now going to be the tricky bit. So right in the centre, I think I'm going to have a little bit of black. Um, this, the flower is going to have a centre, but it's going to be quite a subtle centre. It's not going to be, uh, the red flower I did before had a large centre. This is going to be totally different to that. Right, let's just mark that for a minute. I think that is probably the centre there. Let's have a think. Let's pour some of the red on. So that's the deep red and then we've got the lighter red so silver And then some of the white. This is the iridescent white. Black. And I'm also going to just drizzle the black throughout as well. The client has a lot of greys, different greys in her kitchen. So by adding all of these colours, this should create, the silver is obviously a grey colour, but then also the black and white should also make grey. Right. Also just a little bit of red through the centre there. Now I've got a little bit of bald canvas. So shall I put a bit more white on there? I just feel like the red is done. I think I've got enough red. But I'm just a bit nervous of having bald canvas now. So let's just... Let's just fill it a little bit.
Right, still a tiny bit of board canvas, but it's that's fine, doesn't matter. Hello? Hi, honey. Hi, just could you just go upstairs because I'm at the really important part. Oh, what is it? Please, Evie, just go upstairs. Could you go upstairs, please? Thanks. Right, let's go for it. This is the scary bit. I think it might have worked I've got work to do again I've it's the composition isn't right the flowers aren't the petals aren't the right shape but whoa I've got a big red flower there right I'm going to do some blowing around the edges now just to get the composition that I'm, I'm wanting So it's finished. I'm so happy with it. Um, it's in my mind, it's what exactly what I was like going for. Um, so first of all, you've got the base I wanted. So it's white, but you've just got these little hints of green. So it's really going to pull out the green um, in the client's blinds. And and you've also got these beautiful cells in the green. So I'm really, really happy with that. Um, oh, just while I see it, the sparkle. Can you see the sparkle there? So the whole piece is going to be sparkly and shimmery because of all the iridescent colours. Um, so you've got just the amazing silver. I think it's just the silver. Man, that might be pearl white, actually. Amazing silvery whitey cells in this. That's definitely silver um, in there. Um, there is no brown. I'm so relieved. Um, I deliberately used so much red and so little green. I'm not finding any brown at all. None at all. Um, the centre, I love. Absolutely love it. So the client didn't want a round centre. Um, she wanted more of a, a Dutch pour sort of style centre. Um, so just, I think it just looks really natural, really organic, really, um, yeah, just just blown out really well. Um, now, I added a little bit of black in the centre. So there were a couple of lines. I think it was that one, maybe that one. I can't remember now. There were a couple of, or maybe that was the top one, dark lines that were um, uh, stemming out from the centre. And I really liked them. So I've actually added a little bit more. So it just creates a really nice design right in the centre. Um, I just think it adds to it. It was... At one point, it was just a massive red ring here, and I just thought it, it was actually too red. Um, so I've just added a little bit more black, just for a little bit more detail and contrast. Um, so I'm going to take some photos now, send this to the client, see what she thinks, um, and then I'll be back when it's dry. So here is the dry painting. I'm so happy with it. Um, I love the composition. I love the six petals. They're all slightly different. It's not symmetrical. I didn't want a symmetrical flower. Um, I love the green and white peeking through. It just lifts it and it just brightens it. 
Um, I'm really, really happy with the centre as well. I'm so glad I added some of this pearl black because it just seems to give it slightly more definition. Some of it was there already, but I added other bits. Um, and you can see the difference in the reds. So you can see here, for example, it's a lighter, unless that's where it's added, mixed with the white. No, you can definitely see a lighter red here going out to darker red. So you've got some very subtle variation between the reds. Um, I just, I'm just so pleased with it. You've got some green peeking through there, but no brown. That's what I was so worried about getting brown. There is no brown. It's definitely just reds, black, white and silver. Um, so there's some really beautiful details in it. Again, in the green there, there's some details. In the petal, there's some details. Um, the silver has definitely created a lot of cells and designs within. So, for example, here, within all the petals. The sil I'm sure it's the silver more than the pearl white. Silver always seems to do it. So, so pretty. And then it, let me show you the iridescence again. Oh, you, may, you might not be able to see it too well here, actually. Oh, there you go. Oh, and the black, you can see the iridescence of the black there, how shiny that is as well, because it was pearl black. I think that was a good choice because using real black is just so stark and so dark. So I am so pleased. So please let me know what you think. Uh, leave me any comments. Please do subscribe to my channel if you can. Thanks for watching. Bye.